Okay. Let's listen to this word and see if we can flip it, flip it, flip it. This is me when I first brought the word on YouTube. It's in my box up there. Okay. Well, just let's just listen to it. We've got to flip it a few times. Not even even though I have I have trouble with this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, this is a word that was encouraging to me, um, and and is God is personally addressing me in this, um, but I want to share it because it gives you an understanding of just how good God is and the type of relationship that you can have and expect will be different for everyone. I'm pretty messy, well not messy, but um, no I'm not messy. Um, I'm in need of encouragement and God's faithful to do that. It's lunacy, Lisa. What you're doing here is lunacy. You are seen to the most dysfunctional, damaged people on the face of the earth as a lunatic. This is what you do for me. This is the cause you stand for. You, ins you insist on managing such a people in my name, you do my work, you infect the infected with the love of God. The call of God, the choice to follow me is theirs because of you. No one will touch them. They are shunned, these ones. They have wounds and worms. And this is when he gave me a picture of an apple with a worm in it. And this is where I got the uh, word worm puller which I see is I didn't remember that so lunacy is connected to the worm and the worm I found out about through Jonathan and I just shared <laughs> about the pillows What's under the pillow? What's under the pillow in the hive? What's under the pillow? The worm. We all have our own worm, don't we? Lunacy, isn't it? Deliverance ministry. So I have we drawing. I'll show you it. It's an apple with a worm in it, right? Yeah. I don't think it focused. I wonder what number that book is. You and your friends, I find you will be worm pullers. A ministry of deliverance. These ones you call, who call you crazy, a lunatic. They have worms. Name them. They are in your family. Would be in the church if they knew you. You are carrying such an anointing. It will be a mighty collection of worms, homeless and alone with no companion, just squirming because of your bravery, lunacy, going into homes filled with all the iniquities and sin, sin that no other Christians would touch. Okay, right. Well, hopefully I can come back to that, guys. Okay, let's just have a look at this. Grace has just messaged me, right? She loves the light colour of beautiful or butterfly, right? She's going to take butterfly, who is ugly. I've explained that butterflies are ugly to her. And I said that I call her beautiful. I don't know what she's going to call her. But that's what the Lord God calls her, beautiful. All right? Now, I've already testified. What did I say about those worms just then? Okay, so I don't get to witness to very many people. But if one of us witnessed to one person each, we'd double our numbers now, wouldn't we? So... 
don't despise small beginnings. So this is all just a discussion about the pups. But this is what I said to her. There's the gif. <clears throat> She's not sure what to do, right? She's hearing this truth, and she's a more she's dedicated. She's she's been an anti-vaxxer. Can I say this? Probably not. <laughs> For a long time, her boys are just under ten, and they've never had one. Okay, so here we go. This is what I'm saying. Can you pray as a family? Please don't see it's silly. Fergus, which is her brother who came here, might even join you. You guys need some direction and open doors. She has a family of children. You all know these people. If you haven't done this, how can you expect help? When we all know this is too big for us to fight. You're smart. You know you're stupid guns I meant to say just won't cut it and neither will worrying it's like a plate of food that you don't want to eat just push it towards God and say can you tidy this up for us so there's the gif that I sent I just wanted that to be fresh in your mind when I go back to YouTube. Here we go. A lunatic. They have worms. Name them. They are in your family. Would be in the church if they knew you. You are carrying such an anointing it will be a mighty collection of worms, homeless and alone with no companion, just squirming because of your bravery, lunacy, going into homes filled with all the iniquities and sin, sin that no other Christians would touch. You and these new friends find my bad apples. Whitewash the black sheep that everyone judges. Yet they are products of their mismanagement. Society has failed them. The abandoned generation. From your mum to the child in the homeless home. I insist you get help now. It is not good for a man to be alone, so companions will come. I can't deny you any longer the family and fellowship needed. I know you weep. You see their pain through my eyes. The hopeless and despairing words and lack of power. I insist you have help now. It is enough that you have gone this far, cried out in the wilderness and ward alone in this spiritless land, the territory we contend for. It is not in contention, it never was, but a test. I'll do it as I said, but you, I see, have honoured me in following through with every leading. It has been enough without power. It is now the hour of power. You have faithfully spoken over everyone's life. Now I give life. I give the life you have seen. You have guaranteed in my name. You have openly glorified my name. In a dry and barren land. My instructions have been followed to a T. And you have received every abuse due to me head on. I receive you. I receive them on behalf of you and your obedience. 
they are reached. They are all sealed with my Holy Spirit, marked with my stamp and approval as a pass, a standard exportable to be boxed and sent abroad. I had a picture of um, export apples. So these rotten apples with worms are now export apples, God has promised. This Lisa is not just a ministry to this nation birthed, but one that spreads to all nations. You have been tried and proven to be gold. Gold is needed to extract gold. And you and I have struck gold. And you and I have struck gold. You know that's before I arrived at the gold mine, don't you? But he had said to me, there's gold here. I'd been over. I'm speak at, at that time, I'm speaking from the man cave in our house at 32 Kaffner Street. 32 mean, means angel. So that's where I'm speaking. I'm sleeping in the spare room. I'm, I've completed, see that Marilyn Monroe picture behind there? That's the man cave, the 50 man, 50s man cave that my husband always wanted. He got it, and then he lost it. Hmm. He got it, and then he lost it. And then I left and come over here and ended up where I am. So this is 2018. I think it might be just after Christmas, January. But I got that word about the worm pullers in 2018, towards the end of the year. And its lunacy was the, not, the title that the Lord gave me. Gold. Gold. It's not fun, but it will improve. They are all sealed with my Holy Spirit, marked with my stamp and approval as a pass. A standard exportable to be boxed and sent abroad. I had a picture of um, export apples. So these rotten apples with worms are now export apples, God has promised. This Lisa is not just a ministry to this nation birthed, but one that spreads to all nations. You have been tried and proven to be gold. Gold is needed to extract gold. And you and I have struck gold together. It's not fun, but it will improve. I promise, darling, you have been tried as few have. Don't any of you compare or judge Lisa on her ministry here to the city I live in and the place on the other coast line. Which is where I am now. I tell you, you do not hold a candle to her and her sacrifice. It's weird reading this because it, it's like um, <clears throat> like God knew I was going to one day read it on YouTube and actually address anyone listening. I mean, I'm writing it, but it definitely speaks to anyone listening. No one of you has touched my heart to move a nation and nations of people, land and animals to kingdom living. Stuff you all who rebuke, who rebuke, offend or try to put a stumbling block in front of her. She moves now with dynamite behind her, catapulted into a destiny fought and contended for. She and I have worked this salvation and destiny out over a number of years, and she is gold, gold, gold. Curse anyone who defies and calls on her life 
challenges it or questions the work of the Holy Spirit. Now you see the fire of God, not just manifestations or practice, the real thing. Beware the fire. It will hurt and mind you don't get burnt on these ones raised up. Fire will not be kind to those who are unprepared, who have not begun a journey of perfecting their salvation in fear and trembling. It will destroy many, so warn others of the danger of God's wrath. Come, I greet you who are willing to be tested one last final time. My arms are open wide to you. Lisa will tell you how it hurts in a good way. Hmm. Yeah, it does. Even the tears of her intercession are beautiful, cleansing and the most satisfying pursuit you have ever embarked on. Get excited and run the gauntlet. gauntlet. Over the coals to the prize, the hot-footed race to your private harvest. The greatest joy on earth, the harvest. Why do you think I chose to suffer because of the joy that was before me? It's not being at the right hand of the Father, seated in the high places. It's my heart for these poor suffering souls, suffering because of their call, the chosen and the fierce battle has been on since they appeared on the face of the earth. They are ugly, some maimed, unacceptable to you. Other, oh, he swore he said, some unacceptable to you, motherfuckers. <laughs> but to me, they are the longing I have had since the beginning of time. I was not kidding when I said if any man would want to follow me, they would need to suffer as the son of man did. Thing is, these ones have suffered unknowingly. I have to tell them that it was not all for nothing. They have been abandoned, abused, sexually exploited, harmed in no end of ways, physically and emotionally damaged, damaged goods, bad apples, black sheep, and I love them so much. I long to hold them and let them know how hard Aww. it was to see all this happen and be seen to stand by and do nothing. This is why I have Marlene, my mum, this is my mum, Marlene. She passed away this year. She was right. Marlene had had the most horrific childhood. Oh, the stories. Oh, the stories. Oh, the testimonies. Oh, the testimonies. It is so glorious, the future I have for them. <clears throat> it is glorious, the harmony they will have between them. Be bound by pain and empowered by love and mercy. Not all will be so damaged, but I say that the mean have worms like none of them. Their infection is worse. This, the mean is the religious spirits. God is saying that <clears throat> these are the apples that have the greatest infection. Not the dysfunctional, damaged people. They are bruised and have blight. Yes, I can heal this as well, is hope. <laughs> and most who have had an easy time of it are the mean. They think, well, it didn't happen like that to me. They judge, kick and exploit those that are down. They make livings out of it. They rule by walking over people. The people who work in what they call menial jobs. The underpaid. The undercut. 
they cream all the benefits from their skilled labor and unskilled labor. They take all the credit. Think of nurses, caregivers, how much do they love? And without them, where would the company reputation be? What they do out of their hearts. Think of the mentally ill. Where would the doctors be without them? The sick maimed. Where would the powers that be, be make money of misfortune? Accidents. The prisoners, the orphans, the children in care homes. This is now things get turned upside down. Statistics go out the window. They all have their hands to the plough. Once, of course, they are healed and delivered. I'm going to run out of time. So, but the left aren't almost, delivered. Almost. They become the sick, the pitiful. They sit dead in the gutters. You see, you see what I'm about to do? I will throw the best of you and the rest will thrive. The first will be last. Don't look with natural eyes.